Uganda People's Congress Party members today tasked government to invest more in rural schools in addition to their commitment to provide free primary and secondary education. UPC's Media and Communication Department head Omara Andrew urged government to channel more efforts towards ensuring teacher remuneration and increased number of textbooks sent to rural schools. Government needs to invest more into some of those areas to mitigate those what, disparities and those they need to it needs to be adequate the recently released primary living examinations indicate that there is still a huge disparity in performance between schools in urban areas and those in rural areas with rural schools underperforming especially those that are government aided the first lady of uganda who also serves as the minister of education and sports Janet kataham seveni has already called upon ugandans especially those in rural areas to take up joint responsibility on educating children as opposed to entirely leaving the responsibility to government if uh, parents don't for instance pack lunch for their children, and then they decide at a, at a school level that they are going to have to charge a fee to have the school provide lunch. And then they fail, some of the parents fail to pay that uh, for that lunch, and children drop out. It's a problem that is made up by, by the teachers, and both the teachers and parents together. It's really not something the government does. According to the Uganda National Examinations Board, rural districts such as Buyende, Luka, Queen, Mayuge, Kaliro, Yiganga, Changkwanzi, Namutumba and Serere performed the worst in the recently released primary living examination results. While urban districts in Tebe, Jinja, Fort Porto and Masaka performed best, a piece of analysis that indicates the need to consider bettering education for Uganda's rural children. Report filed by Aloysius Atwine for Urban TV.